One of the things I really wondered before I started working in Japan was that what was life like outside of work? Because there are tons of articles <clears throat> talking about working culture here, is, but there's not much talking about the everyday life, I guess, because it's not that interesting. So back then, I also went on YouTube and searched for like what life was like here in Japan、um, outside of working. And even then or now, there's not much content out there. So, one of my g o a l was to try my best to show you guys what life like is here. And I'm pretty sure I can't be representative of all the foreigners living here, but I want to show you what my <coughs> experiences of an Asian dude living here in Japan is like. Since today is such a nice day out, Let's head out and go to the nearest park near my house. Let's go. Hello, guys. Um, I'm gonna grab something before we go to the park because breakfast was a little bit too small. I'm gonna find something to eat around the park and head there soon. So I decided to get some ramen for lunch. And this is a ramen shop that specializes in chicken broth, I think. And I'm gonna order it right now. Let's have a soup. Let's taste the broth first. Ooh, it's very. It tastes like chicken broth, but very creamy. Oh my god, it's really good. The noodle is not your typical ramen noodle. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure what it's made of, but. It looks like that. Yeah, but this tastes amazing. So I'll get back to you guys once I'm done eating. The creaminess of the broth plus the noodle, I think it goes really well together. I'm in Yoyogi Park. It's located near Shibuya. It's around a 20 minute walk from there. And currently it's November in Japan right now, so all the leaves are turning gold and they're dropping to the floor. So it's a perfect weather for filming out. One of the struggles I found that living in Japan is that it tends to be quite lonely. You might ask, how is it lonely when there's 14 million people living in the city? It's one of the most densely populated cities in the world. Well, the short answer is that it's quite difficult to make friends here. And in my experience of being here for six years, I can count on one hand how many Japanese friends I have. It's not that I didn't try, it's, it's quite, I don't know if it's the culture or the culture barrier or the language barrier, but I, I can speak Japanese pretty well now. I'm still, It's not that easy to make friends with Japanese people. And, and this is not only my、um, experience either. I, there's a lot of other people around here in Tokyo that experience the same thing as me. Since Yoyogi Park is such a big park, let me find someone and ask them about their experience here of living in Japan as a foreigner. It's gonna be pretty nerve wracking. Let's hope I find someone for the video. I think I'm in the frame. Yep. So I made a new friend. Her name is Clement. Yeah, of course. My main issue in terms of loneliness is i t、uh, a question of friends. I have lots of friends.、Uh, my loneliness issue is mostly a relationship type problem. My friends are Japanese. All Japanese. I actually have no foreign friends. Alright, so much.、Oh. 
Well, that was a little bit surprising for an answer. I wasn't expecting that at all. Because most people are talking about... Well, most people find it hard to make Japanese friends. Anyways, my hypothesis might be wrong. Let me find another person to interview this about. Sometimes it can feel lonely when you don't speak the language that everyone speaks. But, um, I mean, places like this, they make you feel like you're not lonely. Uh, probably foreigner friends because uh, I don't speak Japanese, but um, one day I do want to learn Japanese and I do want to have more local friends because I see all these friend groups here and I'm like, God, I wish I had a friend group like that. Being about this since I've been here is because everybody's constantly on their phone all the time. Like we're riding the subway, there's a bajillion people in there, but it's dead quiet because I don't know if people are afraid to talk to people or like, you know, they're socially afraid to like make noise or anything like that. But it seems like everyone is just glued to their phone as a way to like avoid having to talk to people. So I think uh, phones have a lot to do with it. I see. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for your time. No Thank you. Right. And most of my videos are just anecdotal experiences of living in Japan as a foreigner. So. To, um, take everything with a grain of salt. Anyways, I'm getting a bit hungry. It's getting a bit late. Let's go grab something to eat. So I finished eating dinner and I'm going to go back. I'm so full and tired for the whole day. If you guys are interested in these kind of vlogs in the future of what it's like in my everyday life, I mean everyday weekend, please subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next video.